boy Zay Zay coming back with another updated video. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Zigzag coming back with another updated video. And today's video, I'm going to try to answer some questions for you guys about the Phoenix Audio PX6 radio that I installed about four months ago. It's a, It's been, I think, exactly about four months since I installed the radio. And I get a lot of questions on... Uh, does it work does the ac and the heater controls come on when you do your uh remote start engine so i'm gonna uh show you guys some of the features everything works all the functionalities work and everything so i'm gonna go ahead and make this video a little short and get right into it right here i have my key fob excuse my ashy hands i just get out from work okay well we're gonna go ahead and remote start it Okay, the truck has been remote started. I'm gonna go ahead and open the door and let you guys see what's going on in here. As you can see, the radio comes on. Uh, the AC is blowing right now. It's blowing pretty, uh, just like normal, cooling the truck off. Okay, the radio boots up and comes on. I'm gonna turn it down because I had my radio actually playing before uh, this video but let's go ahead and put it in uh, actual run mode let's get it going here all right all right now this video is also going to talk about the things I like and I dislike about the radio and believe it or not there are some things that I do dislike about it but I'm going to give it to you exactly how I see it my experience with it and show you some of the features that uh, I've actually uh, put on here. Okay, right here, you know, this is your uh, actual, you know, AM, FM radio screen here. Right now it's on FM. Uh, everything works well. Okay, a lot of people are asking about my home screen right here. All right. In order to get the home screen where you're able to put all your apps and uh, everything on it, you're not going to be able to change anything up here, okay? But you can put your apps right along here, all right? And the uh, app that I use that I downloaded to the PX6 is called Nova Launcher. That's N-O-V-I Launcher. Um and it's a and I'm able to put all my my apps on the screen on my home screen everything works perfectly as far as my apps I'll show you YouTube right quick let's run into that and I'll just pull up a video we'll look, look at this little video right here okay everything see how it comes on I give out you my a, 2014 Silverado okay all right, so you see how that that shows up on here, and you can also turn this screen into full screen, and there you have it right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close that out and show you some other features that I have on here. Okay, let's go back to the home screen. All right. Now, also, uh, I have, like, my Play Store on here. I have my uh, Google Play Music on here. Um, and here's all my, my downloaded music, you know, all of my playlists and everything like that. The good thing about the playlist, you know, if there's something, you don't have to listen to it in this mode. You can actually hit the button and you'll get the full screen not going to play any music because of copyright infringement but uh that's one of the good features that we have here let's close that out and go back to my home screen all right i also have um my security alarm on here i can actually work it from the truck i do like that that feature there I can arm, disarm, I can change my thermostat and 
and all of that in the house and my cameras are right here there's some of my cameras that's actually me right there getting ready to make the YouTube video but I can play those videos and they show just just fine uh, it's loading the clip right now let's see it is loading that's actually okay yeah so I let it load that little clip up right there and there's my little clip that's me right there coming out making the actual video okay so let's close that out and go back to our home screen all right you know you can have your google your photos on here i got hulu on here hulu works fine um my sears xm that's what another other people are asking can you listen to your sears xm you can but I don't think I'm logged in on mine right now. But you can listen to your Sirius XM radio. Well, actually, I am logged in. Okay. So, that works. Let's go back to the home screen. Uh, this is this this that keep popping up is, is the search. Like, if I want to search for different apps or anything like that, it'll pop up when I hit home screen. Um my uh let's see my navigation works great i use uh the one that they have in here called uh uh, uh like it, what is it called let's see here that's what it's called and it works just fine uh-oh i have an incoming call oh guys okay guys sorry about that i had to take that call uh, but anyway, let's go back to our home screen here. All right, so everything works. Uh, there's my, see this, hold on, I was trying to see if it works. That's moving kind of slow. Oh, that's my internet, my, uh, my Google internet so all right so that works so all these features here work um you can program some things like you know your music my music when i hit the music button it goes straight to my google play you know you go to your phone I'm not going to hit that because it's going to show a lot of numbers uh you got your ac controls which on this particular one you have your ac controls here and you got your temp control here you got your navigation here you got your defrost here and your AC on and off right there. Uh, cameras work just, I mean, they work great. You hit the camera button. There you go. You got your front camera view, your 360 camera view. Uh, you hit it again. You got your front camera and your right front tire. Okay. And then if you throw it in reverse, there's my backup camera okay so all that work ac controls i usually control you know the buttons right here but you can go in here and that little ac thing will pop up and you can control it there only time i hit that is when i have to hit my mirror defrost or or put it on dual that's the only time i hit that but other than that like i say everything works works great you know, uh, now all my buttons down here, my traction control, that works. You know, my, my parking assist, that works. My caution lights, they work. Uh, my driver lane assist works and, and my uh, heated steering wheel works. So everything works. Uh, nothing is compromised um, when you do this. Now, those are the things that I like about it now i gotta show you the one thing that i don't like about it and i got to cut the truck off to do that so let's cut the truck off and let it go all the way off let everything close out okay now everything's closed out now when you cut it on this is the reason why i like the remote started 
That way it already be set up. When you cut it on, much like your factory computer, you have that, I mean your factory radio, you have that delay. All right, now this delay right here is no problem because I like the way that look. But when this Android pop up, you got about six or seven seconds that um, it stays on the screen. Now, if I don't know about the radios that are in like the SLSV models and all of those, but I know and the Platinum Reserve and I believe the Pro 4X, we had the same factory radio. So you would still have that delay in there. But it's not a big deal, not a big issue to me or whatever, but um, that's just the only thing I don't like about it. Uh, you guys raised some questions about the install. There's actually a video on YouTube if you uh, Google it. I'll try to stick a link down in there or uh, somewhere in here, you know, where you can actually get to it. But if you go to uh, Phoenix Audio and you type in, uh, I think it's 2017 Nissan Titan, and, and you will get the exact um, uh, installation video that I used. It's pretty spot on. Um, I went exactly by that. It took me about one hour to install this radio, and that's taking the factory um, stuff out and putting in this radio and it's literally plug and play uh, a lot of people ask do you need the uh the little dongle or whatever they call it to to uh to use it no as long as you got this you're fine you don't need anything extra just you know buy the radio and plug and play it and everything will work um you just log into it just like you log in you know on your phone and everything will work now i have wi-fi because my phone instantly uh, connects you know i have unlimited everything so it it doesn't cost anything but it helps out a whole lot when you do have you know wi-fi or whatever but other than that man everything works good everything works well uh if you have any questions you guys you know just drop them in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe on my videos and everything and i hope that this helps out you know some of you guys on um your purchase with the phoenix audio now this is only for nissan titan i do not know how any other manufacturers um systems will work i just know how this one worked for this truck i know some guys have had some issues you know with other uh trucks or whatever for some reason i haven't had any issues you know with this radio and this is about four months so uh if you guys have any questions once again just leave them uh in the comments below i will try to get back with each and every one of you guys man and i want to uh say i uh, i appreciate you guys for watching my videos i appreciate your comments i appreciate your likes i do have an upcoming video uh coming up for some i believe i forgot what they're called some um geez some kind of floor mats it's not the weather tech i was gonna get those but it was something else but i have an upcoming video on those that'll be coming soon but anyway the truck is doing fine everything is working well so you guys you have a wonderful evening have a wonderful weekend or whenever you're watching this video and once again, like, comment, and subscribe. This is your boy ZigZag, and we are out.